Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we're gonna get into some shoes. I know I showed you guys some shoes last video, uh, but we're gonna get into more shoes in this video. I love reviewing shoes because I don't really know too much about them, and uh, I just think it's funny when I commentate on them or have my opinion on them. Like I stated in the last video, if you guys watched that, much love. I know it was on Cinco de Mayo. I feel like that's why the views really didn't match up. This video actually was supposed to be dropped on Sunday. Then I realized it was Mother's Day. For for some reason, every time I have a video idea, there's just a holiday that's on the day that I want to post the video. So that's why the video is a couple days late. But again, we're here, we're making it happen, and that's all that matters. So, uh, like I said in that video, I'm on the dunk hype a little bit. I'm on the SB hype, and I got no problem saying that. Uh, I've not collected dunks or SBs for any amount of time. My neighbor is a old school SB dunk dude. He's got the craziest shoes ever, and uh, some of my previous videos with the Supreme Dunks and stuff like that that came from him. So I've been learning a little bit from him. My homie Twan is on uh, the Nike Dunk, the SB way, and he's been on it for longer than me. So I'm trying to get knowledge from him and I'm just trying to learn, uh, you know, a little bit more about the shoe game. And there definitely is some dead sexy dunks out there, some SBs out there. And today we are going to get into two of those. We are simply just going to compare these two shoes. One of them has been released. It's been out for a couple months now and then the other pair is an unreleased pair of Nike SBs uh, but it's made its way around the internet I'm sure your guys' favorite influencer has already done its video on the shoes you guys have seen pictures of the shoes but it's all good man I wanted to bring them to the channel because these are two of my favorite shoes that I own right now and uh, that's what having your own channel is all about dude you know I always give you guys the preem I'm always showing you guys supreme I'm trying to mix it up give you guys some shoes. I got a golf wing unboxing coming uh, and stuff like that. I'm just trying to mix it up, go down different avenues, and uh, hopefully you guys are down for the ride and you guys enjoy the content, man. So that's what we're getting into today. Super excited to make this video and show you guys these shoes. And uh, yeah, man, let's get it cracking. So before we do, I'm going to plug this company that I am starting. It is called The 1%. And uh, man, the past couple weeks, I have just been pedal to the metal. Duva and I actually have, and we've had some outside help as well. We are going full ham with this company. If you guys are interested in the company, it's called The 1%. You guys can follow us on Instagram at the1%.ie. I have uh, the website up. I got the domain ready. You guys can visit the website. It'll be linked in the description below, but it is uh, the1%-ie.com. And you guys can sign up for the newsletter and be uh, informed via email uh, for the upcoming launch of the company and future releases. We will be launching uh, our first couple items early June. I've had a lot of homies that have already hit me up and told me that they're excited for it. They're ready for it. They're ready to cop it. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm taking everything that I know and that I've learned about streetwear and clothing and all this kind of stuff over the past five years that I've been doing it. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm finally making something that's my own and I'm putting everything into it. And, uh, dude, we're, we're, we're going gangster with it, man. So I hope you guys uh, are excited for it if you're interested uh, it's all linked in the description I left it on the page that's all the information that you guys need to know the Twitter is linked down there and then of course via my personal Instagram at Leroy destroy that's where you guys are gonna get a lot of updates about the company uh, if you guys are interested man so it's called the one percent and uh, man we got some smackers coming even for the first drop I'm planning drops ahead and into the fall in the winter time and uh, uh, you know, it's time for me to do something that is my own, that nobody can take away from me, that is on nobody else's time but my own. I'm hoping that it just uh, resonates with you guys on a different level, not just that it's Sleepy's clothing brand, but uh, as you guys will see as we roll out these videos, as we roll out these pictures, these promos, these cuts, these products, uh, I hope it's something that resonates with you guys, and I hope it's something that you guys feel as one with, and uh, yeah, that's uh, 
the, you know, obviously my ultimate goal. So if you guys are with it, the 1%, go check it out. Uh, you know, sign up for the newsletter, follow the Instagram. Appreciate everybody's support on that. Uh, we're coming out strong, man. First week of June, get ready. It's coming up. It's like three weeks away, four weeks away, and uh, we're going to be on and cracking. Alrighty, guys. So enough of the 1%. As promised, here is two pairs of shoes. Now, one of these is a no-box pair of shoes. That's why it's in a Converse box right here. And then I'm pretty sure you guys already know what these are right here. So first, we will go over these shoes because these have already released. You guys have seen a million pictures, a million people post them, a million videos about them. But uh, I'll give you my thoughts and opinions on them, why I like them, and then we'll move on to the next shoe, man. So this is the Travis Scott Nike SB Dunk Low. Uh, Yeah, I believe that's what it's called. Travis Scott Nike SB Dunk Low. Uh, Yep, that's what it's called. So I got an 8.5. That's my personal size. Uh, this is not the special box. This is just the regular box and uh, here we go, man You pull this thing open again. You guys have probably seen this before you got the paisley uh, uh, Little wrapper in here. I got my receipt you guys see it these shoes right now and in 8.5 on stock X are like just dummy bread 1400 bucks your boy paid a hundred and seventy dollars for these kicks So I have sold a pair of these shoes uh, actually I've sold many pairs of these shoes and and the last one was the 8.5 and uh, these are the personals dude so here they are chilling in the box and I will pull these babies out one by one so as I've stated before if you guys follow my Instagram I've talked about Travis Scott a little bit uh, I'm not the biggest Travis Scott fan out there like I don't geek out on his music and like trip out on the Astro World and I like, just like la flame up my ass I'm not like really on the Travis tip like that, but I do respect Travis. His uh, baby mama is extremely bad. One reason why I respect the dude a lot. Uh, holy sh his baby mama is uh, about as fine as you can get, dude, right behind Duva. But uh, uh, other than those two reasons, um, I love Travis because the color brown. Travis has, like, brought back the color brown. I feel like brown is, like, such an underrated color along with orange. Those are just colors you see a lot of people stay away from. You don't really see a lot of stuff in orange and especially in brown. And then when Travis blew up huge, it's just, like, everything brown. Brown, 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 brown. He's all always wearing brown, brown hat, brown pants, brown tees, brown shoes. A lot of his shoes are brown. The famous Jordan one and then the low, those are both brown. And then this shoe right here has some brown on it as well. So that's kind of my stance on Travis Scott. Uh, I don't think he's the greatest rapper ever. I mean, I'm not hating on his music, but he's definitely like not really in my playlist and I don't really vibe with his music that much, but I do love the Jordan one high. I'm still trying to get that in eight five. And then I guess it would be the Jordan one one low. Uh, I'm not sure. It's just the low top version of it. I have been trying to get that shoe in 8.5 for so, so long, dude. So I love those two shoes. And then he's done a couple other shoes that I don't really care about uh, at all, except in the kid sizes. I might try to grab them for Carson. I don't even know what style shoe they were. Then he did some kind of Jordan 5 or something like that. That was absolutely hideous. And then bam, homeboy comes out with these SBs and these things just smack dude these things took over the shoe game uh for a certain period of time everybody was talking about these and still to this day these shoes smack i think i'll put the current price right now last time i checked they were at 1300 bucks in an 8.5 which is just absolutely insane for a release date that was months and months ago dude so uh it comes with replacement laces that are in this bag right here but you guys can see the laces are like these twill uh like rope looking laces which is pretty Pretty cool you don't see that in a lot of shoes so that like right off the bat is uh, something a little bit different that gives the shoe some character and then you got a lot of suede on this shoe uh, but you also have corduroy on this shoe and then you also have plaid on this shoe and then some kind of leather on this shoe as well so you got a bunch of different components I just I don't really see anybody that's ever hated on this shoe I think everybody can agree that this shoe is just straight up dead sexy dude so you do have some right on the shoe uh, it says like cactus jack in those weird letters that he spells out his name with uh, like going up through here but you can just barely barely see it there's like a the little cactus sign right there you got the Nike on the back and then uh, yeah so this part right here is corduroy I, I I don't know the shoe lingo and like the different parts of the shoe and what's it what what they're called maybe this is like the lace 
lace cap, lace holder thing. I don't know, whatever that is, uh, but it definitely looks like corduroy. I'll try to get it as close as I can. Even this toe box right here, this looks like some form uh, of corduroy. It might just be like some cotton with lines through it to make it look like corduroy, but uh, it does have the corduroy feel to it. And then, um, of course, you got two different color Nike swooshes. You got the black one, which kind of just pops off this shoe because there's really no other black on this shoe at all. It's pretty much all navy, tan, brown, pink, white, no black whatsoever. And then you got a black swoosh. I think that makes it look kind of badass. Uh, yeah, is this, no, nah, this is navy for sure. All this paisley back here is all navy. And then you go to the other side and then you got the pink swoosh, which is the best part of the shoe uh, in my personal opinion, dude. I think if both swooshes were pink, uh, that would be extremely fire as well. I got a little mark on mine right here. Kind of sucks. You guys can see right there, but it is what it is. I'm eventually going to wear these. I'm not sure when, but uh, even down to the insole, you guys can see, I'll try to get the light, but it's paisley printed uh, down on your insole. And these things are just dirt nasty, dude. So here's the laces that come with them. Of course, it's a Nike SB. So you're going to get that bag with the extra laces. Now, believe these are black laces in here. And then you got like that pastel -y pink uh, that matches the pink swoosh. So uh, I'm not sure if I wear them or when I do wear them, I will probably leave the rope laces in because that's kind of like, uh, you know, like a, a, a set aside factor. Uh, you know, I might mess around and put the pink laces in, but if I ever do rock them or when I rock them, I will leave the rope laces in, man. So again, I like just coming in here and looking at these shoes. So I know you guys have seen them before, but I'm sure just seeing them on video up close. I mean, we got this crystal clear lighting. Man, dude, just look at this suede toe cap right here or toe box. This is the toe cap, I guess. This is the toe box. Just like this, just dirt, sand, nasty suede. And then it goes all the way up to the tongue. You got the Cactus Jack logo right there. And uh, all around, man, these shoes are just so fire, man. When they drop, uh, I did get some early pairs and I was able to sell the early pairs and make some profit and then when they dropped I ended up hitting on a raffle and then I got them for retail so uh, it all worked out in the end and I ended up getting an 8.5 so really uh, doesn't happen often I don't really enter too many shoe raffles but I did I hit I got the 8.5 and uh, dude these shoes are so nasty man I really don't want to wear them until I get another pair of course I'm the uh, one to rock and one to stock kind of dude but uh, I'll probably end up wearing them because if I'm not going to wear them, I might as well sell them, dude. The plaid going through the middle. You got the paisley hints all over it just with the sand, the dark brown, the light brown, the black, the pink. Uh, I think everybody can agree watching this. Whether you like shoes or not, uh, this is just an extremely nasty, nasty shoe. And... Uh, just a, a absolutely gorgeous shoe in any way, shape, or form. Myself, again, I'm not the biggest shoe dude, but looking at those shoes, it's just like, it's just, you know, kind of takes your breath away. You're like, damn, dude, uh, I don't know how mans can top that shoe, uh, or really SB in general, uh, you know, can top that shoe. That shoe is extremely beautiful, very well looking, and uh, I was happy that I was able to get an 8.5, but when it does come to comparing that shoe, shoe with another shoe uh this would be it right here dude so we'll open this up and these my friends are the ben and jerry nike sb chunky donkeys so these are unreleased these have not released yet uh shout out to my homies who plugged me with these shoes and uh, i was able to get quite a few pairs early if you guys follow me uh on the resale page premium population sales uh that's where you guys can win early shoes we just did some early uh jordan ones if you guys are interested in winning stuff for uh, way way under retail price sometimes early shoes early items that's premium population sales uh, if you guys don't already know. I think we got five total pairs of these shoes. I was able to sell four of the five pairs and then I was able to keep my personal size. Of course, I still paid for the shoes, uh, but the profit from uh, the four pairs that we sold, I was able to, to cover this pair and still be in profit, dude. So uh, a completely different look and vibe than the Travis, but uh, holy hell, I love this shoe so much, man. 
And so obviously there's cow print on it. There's sky blue. There's green grass. Uh, if it wasn't Chunky Dunky or said Ben and Jerry's on it, I feel like this would be the Inland Empire dunk or the Chino dunk. And of course, that's my city. That's where I'm from. I'm from Chino, California. I ran the streets in Chino. I stay in Ontario, California right now. If any of you guys are familiar, that is straight cow land. Literally right across the street, not even a hundred yards from my house on all four corners are dairies. They're filled with cows. I love cows so much. I love eating cows, but I also love cows as animals. They're beautiful. I get to drive by the pasture, see them grazing, and I get to see the calves, and I get to see the bulls and the brown cows, the white and spotted cows, and uh, I love cows, dude. And this thing's got faux cow fur all the way throughout it, and we can break this shoe down a little bit. Of course, you got, uh, this is some kind of leather right here. Definitely not suede, but just like that sky blue, it just pops so well. This lighting is perfect. This is exactly what the shoe looks like. I love how they cut this right here. So you got the sky up here, and then you got the green grass down there, and then you got the yellow swoosh, but then it's kind of like uh, melting a little bit uh, because it's Ben and Jerry's, Ben and Jerry's ice cream. I think that was supposed to be the vibe with the swoosh kind of melting off of the shoe like your ice cream would melt off of your cone. And then you move into the tie-dye and uh, shit like that uh, once you get to the insole of the shoe. So let me yank this tree out and yank that out. And then you guys can see right there. It says Ben and Jerry's Nike SB and then you got all this tie-dye. So I'm looking forward to getting a picture in this shoe. I got some fire tie-dye shirts. I have a uh, shirt I made myself or tie-dyed myself and I have a couple leather um, already tie-dyed shirts that I bought like that but uh, man I'm definitely gonna get with the cows and uh, match the tie-dye vibe and just get a nasty nasty picture dude so both of these shoes are SB's they obviously got the fat fat tongue and you guys can see right here it says Nike SB chunky donkey and then on the inside you have the actual Ben and Jerry's logo there you go right there that's exactly what you would see on a Ben and Jerry's ice cream if you guys have never had Ben and Jerry's ice cream uh you guys are tripping and skipping and missing out there it is Ben and Jerry's if it's not fun why do it and then it's got the made in yada 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 these are size 8 I did my best to get a size 8.5 that's my true to size I had a 9 and an 8 and for me with shoes I'd rather them feel a little bit tight and stretch them out than them be too big. That's just my personal opinion. And I feel like the smaller the shoe, the better it looks. That's why when you see chicks wearing uh, Wave Runners and Yeezys, you're like, damn, that shoe looks good. And then your ass goes home and buys a 13 and you're like, oh, damn, this shit's ugly as hell. The smaller the shoe, the better it looks, man. So that's my personal opinion. So uh, this is an early pair with no box. It does have some little flaws to it you know you got like some uh you got some random little flares of uh material right there but uh, as far as the no box pairs go they usually always come with some kind of defect because there's people that are handling them going from this place to this place to this place all with no box but surprisingly this shoe looks uh pretty damn straight like it would have came out of box man there's really no real uh flaws to this shoe whatsoever man look at the difference dude so you got the same shoe you got both shoes but then you got the tie-dye right here you see like all this it would be like rainbow sherbet and then on this shoe you still got tie-dye but it's like a bubble gum or a berry tie-dye that's super fire to me like the inside of the shoe doesn't match on both it's just like more of like that custom vibe and uh, this shoe is just nasty dude so of course you got the laces that come hanging off of them you got dark green and then you got the gold to match the swoosh uh, I do think the white laces look really good I think the green laces would look good as well holy hell man I just I absolutely love this shoe dude I, I, I heard that they were coming out and the homies were getting early pairs next thing you know two days later I had five pairs and uh, shout out to the homies who won the pairs three homies 
won these shoes, dude. I think the most that somebody spent was like 150 bucks. These shoes with no box on GOAT are selling for 1200 14 1600 With the box on StockX, they're selling for 16 1800 These things are smacking right now, dude. Straight up smacking. And uh, shout out to the three homies. But they all got them for, for uh, 25 bucks, 50 bucks. And uh, yeah, I want to show you guys some more details to this shoe. So on the back, you guys can see these like individually stitched clouds, which is just absolutely insane, dude. It's like you got grass at the bottom and then it's like you got the cow that would be standing on the grass and then you got the clouds that would be above the cow and then you got Nike all stitched in. Look at that thread count right there on this heel tab. That is black, dude. Just a dirty, dirty shoe. So this is like some faux fur right here. You can see if you rub it this way, you guys can see that it like, uh, you know, goes against the grain and then you can like smooth it out. And uh, that is by far my favorite part of this shoe is uh, the cow fur that is on these, dude. And, and again, it doesn't match on both shoes, dude. So on this shoe right here, you see a big fat black patch and then it goes into the, to the grayish white. And then on this one, it's kind of split up evenly. You got a little spot and then look at that. You even got a black spot with a white in the middle and uh, man, the blue toe cap uh, and then the whole tongue is uh, that faux cow fur, dude. So if you see through the laces, it's got that, that faux fur going all the way through it, man. Just an absolutely beautiful shoe. When I saw that the homies had these, I was like, however, I got to get these. I got to get my hands on these, man. So shout out to the homies on Prem Population sales everybody that threw in for the shoes everybody that took an L retro I know you wanted a major there was a couple other homies who threw in mad to get these shoes and three homies ended up taking pairs home for 25 50 and a hundred bucks man and uh, I kept a pair for myself size 8 dude so uh, I love both of these shoes I'm gonna bring back the Travis real quick and we can compare them side by side taking into consideration that these are early I mean don't take that into consideration Consideration, say that this was already a release shoe and don't take the resale value into your your comment or you know your opinion as well I'm just talking strictly based off your personal opinion you yourself if you got to pick one of these shoes which one would it be dude so I know a lot of you guys are city boys uh, you know I'm out from the suburbs in the rural area of the suburbs uh, where there's cows and I think that's why this shoe resonates with me more and that's that's why I would have to pick this shoe over the Travis if I had to give one up. But the Travis, don't get me wrong, excuse my phone, is extremely, extremely beautiful, dude. So this is uh, definitely more of a shoe that you could wear on an everyday basis and match with many other things. You could wear all black with this. You could wear navy. You could wear light pink. You could wear any shade of brown. This shoe definitely way more easy to match with. This shoe, again, would be a little bit tougher. You got a lot of bright colors in here. You got tie-dye. Uh, you would almost have to stick to a tie-dye shirt or or, or match this green or this blue uh, somewhere in your shirt. Uh, so, you know, take that into consideration. But if you could pick one pair, man, let me know which pair that you would pick. Holy hell, dude. Uh, man, what a battle, dude. Even looking at these, I'm like, man, I I think I might pick the Travs, but uh, man, I'm, I'm from the Inland Empire, man. You know, I was born and raised around cows my whole life, and uh, my choice would be the Chunky Donkey. Not even the fact that it's unreleased, nothing like that. Just based off the shoe, uh, I would pick the Chunky Donkey, but uh, the Travis Scott is right up there with it, and that's why I did the video with these two shoes so you guys give me your personal opinion please leave it in the comments down below let me know just what shoe is your favorite and what shoe you would pick if you could pick one of these dude so sadly these are my only pairs I don't have a pair to give away to you guys but you know people have won both of these shoes for 25 bucks for 50 bucks on pre population sales so if this is your first time watching this uh, that is where everything resale goes is the sales page if you guys want to check it out at pre population sales we're always running supreme shoes early shoes sh
shit like that uh, all for way under retail cost for fraction of retail cost people are taking stuff home every day that's the sales page uh, if you guys are out the loop or this is your first time so I appreciate you guys watching I know I'm not a huge shoe dude I know I probably uh, mistake uh, different certain parts of the shoes for others but I got no problem saying that uh, you know I'm bandwagon on the Nikes right now I mean dude I've skated Janowski's I wore Air Forces back in the day uh, you know I think I've owned one pair of Jordan 1's in like 7th grade. I've ran through my pair of white Air Forces. Again, skated Janowski's and skated other Nike more widely produced. Sorry, my phone's blowing up. Widely produced uh, Nikes I've skated. But as far as like the SB's and the Dunk Lows and stuff like that, you know, I'm barely getting on that wave. Uh, so call me out. Call me a bandwagoner. Whatever you want to do, it's all good. Sticks and stones can break my bones. But words can never hurt me man so uh yeah let me know in the comments down below hopefully we can get uh you know a good little debate going let me know why you like one over the other or if you like both or uh any comment uh you know relating to either one of these pairs of shoes uh would be much appreciated and that's that homies that's the video uh two very expensive shoes one unreleased one released that i wanted to show you guys and uh yeah if you guys do like these shoe videos make sure to leave a thumbs up smash the like button for me uh, because I just got in some new shoes, some Giannos from Tyler the Creator and Converse and I was thinking about maybe doing a comparison with the first Giannos he dropped in November versus the new ones that just came out. If you guys would like to see that or just see more of my shoes in general, then you guys smash the like button. That way I know, yo, these people like these shoe videos. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep making them because uh, I got about 50 pairs of shoes that need to go in these empty boxes we could do a video putting shoes into boxes uh kind of giving you guys a glimpse dude i got all kinds of different shoes it's not just nikes and just vans dude i got clarks i got dc's dude i got timberlands i got all kinds of different converse sean pablo converse tyler the creator converse all kinds of supreme vans i got huff shoes ftp shoes baker vans all kinds of stuff uh, so if you guys like the shoes drop a like that way I know in the future, yo, uh, I can go ahead and make this video and the homies are going to enjoy it and like it. And uh, that's what I hope you guys did with this video. So I appreciate you guys watching, man. I hope you guys are staying healthy. I hope you guys are staying safe. And uh, most importantly, I hope you guys are staying sane. Continue to work on yourselves inside out daily. Work on those things that you guys need to get done. Check small things off at a time. Small W's, little base hits add up to more runs in the end than just swinging for the fences every time and uh, striking out nine out of ten times but hitting a home run work on those small things try to be more kind to people knock off small things off your to-do list you know slowly but surely as the world starts to open up you know hopefully we can all come out as better people and uh, better individuals man so i love you guys i appreciate you guys and again if you guys want to check out the one percent i'll leave it tagged down below on the screen uh any support with that would be much appreciated early june we're coming Coming out the gate strong, man. I'm putting everything into this. Woven tags, printed bags, just off the chain. It's going to be nasty. And uh, man, I'm, I'm super excited for it. So I hope you guys are too, man. Appreciate you guys watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. And we'll see you guys on the flip side. Peace. I'm out of here. Later, skater. Deuces. We'll catch you guys later. Peace.